Happy Church will start in a couple of minutes. Hello Cappy Churches, we're back outside Hello. after our pre-recorded one last week and we've got members of the audience, we've got a couple of people that have come, come past, yeah. Sue and Cathy have come down to watch, which is excellent, it feels a bit, a bit like back to normal doesn't it, back to normal, yeah, yeah they love it, yeah. Kath's on the floor, she yeah. don't care, <laughs> get up Kath. I hope you're all keeping well and you've stayed safe and you're starting to see some people now and get out and about. Um, this week um, is the Parable of the Sower and it's going to be for the next couple of weeks some parables as well. The Parable of the Sower is this week, but what is a parable? Parables are short descriptions or counts that show a point. Sometimes they use metaphors to help us understand what they mean and sometimes the meanings are explained and sometimes they're not that obvious. The seed is used in different ways as we're probably going to find out in the next few weeks in different parables so we need to take each parable on its own to work out its own meaning. So this week is the um, parable of the sower and in the next few weeks in Matthew we're going to be going through some more. So before we do all that let's have our opening prayer with Lizzie. Heavenly Father, we gather in your presence today to hear your words, word with eagerness. We pray that we listen intently and our hearts are open to receive your never-ending love. We are ready, Lord, to listen to your parables and to learn from them. Amen. 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 So the reading this week is from the Gospel of Matthew. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. And great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately sprang up since they had no depth of soil, but when the sun rose they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one come, comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what was sown along the path. And for what was sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. 
As for what was sown among the thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. Now Sarah's going to give her take on the reading. <laughs> the parable of the sower is an allegory about the kingdom of God. In other words, it can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning. Everything in the story represents something else. It is a growth parable. A man went out to sow grain. The man represents God and the seed is his message. Just as a planted seed starts to grow, the word of God grows and starts to deepen and grow within a person. Not all the seed sown was eaten. Some people can't commit to the Christian lifestyle. They are initially attracted, but give up either for personal issues, lifestyle, commitments. Sometimes they respond with initial enthusiasm, but the word of God doesn't sink in deep enough for them. As soon as something bad happens, or a persecution, they abandon their faith. Some people are too concerned with what others think, and they worry too much. They may be jealous, angry, or concerned with materialism. Some people have a strong faith, and remain dedicated to a Christian lifestyle, even when things get difficult or challenging. So for some the seed fell on the path, and the birds ate it. So not all was sown. Some fell on rocky ground where there was little soil. The seed soon sprouted, but when the sun came up, it burnt the young plants. Some seed fell among thorn bushes, which grew up and choked the plants. Some seed fell on good soil, and the plants produced corn. The parable assures us that God is at work below the surface, causing growth that will manifest itself in due time. We need not despair if the results are not immediately apparent or if some of our efforts produce no grain. The faithful disciple may be responsible for sowing the seed and watering it, but God is responsible for the growth. Thank you, Sarah. That was, um, was interesting. Where did your, thinking about the seeds and that, where was, where was your seed? Did it take you several lots of seeds before you came to church, or was it in one fell swoop and you, um, your seed grew straight away. Be interesting. Let us know in the comments. Now we're going to have Lizzie with our main press. Father, open our eyes and our ears to the presence of the Holy Spirit. May the seeds of your word that is scattered among us fall on fertile soil. May the root run deep in our hearts and our lives. Help us to aspire to become the good soil in which the harvest may flourish. We pray for those who have not yet had the privilege to understand your love. Help them to be ready to welcome your parables into their hearts. We know that your word may not always fall on good soil. Help us to acknowledge this and to learn by this. When things are not going the way we hope, we will remind ourselves that our love for you runs deep in our heart, just as your word runs deep. As we scatter your seeds, we pray, that, we pray that those around are open to receiving your love, that they feel you within them. Let us learn, grow, and be the best possible people we can be. Help us to really listen to your parables and to learn from them, so that our relationship with you is mature, deep, and everlasting. You have planted seeds of love, seeds of hope, seeds of potential, and seeds of everlasting life. May we allow these to grow so they forever remain planted in our lives. Amen. 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 Now I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lizzie. So, what notices have I got? I've got something really important to say, first of all. Some of us have suffered with this, male and female, and so we're, des we're desperate for it. That is, I've had a haircut. <laughs> Finally, Woo! I've had a haircut. I know those of us with short hair have really suffered from not having a haircut. I thought it was a wig, didn't you? I'm happy. I've had a haircut. Um, Sunday um, services are back on, half past nine. Uh, Wednesdays are half past nine. Um, social distancing remains in force. There is no singing, um, but the services are still going on uh, and they're still uh, streamed live like we are. If you, want, every, if you want to come down on a Friday, like Kath and Sue have done, feel free to come down. If the weather's nice, we're going to be outside. So if you want to bring a blanket or a chair, there's plenty of space for everyone to sit around. If the weather's not too nice, we'll get, if there's people come down, we'll go into the main church because everything's set up with the seats. Um, two metres apart and we'll do our service in there but again there won't be any singing so we can't have our excellent music that we normally do excellent. but give it time hopefully in the next few months things will start to get a bit more back to normal still no coffee morning but as I say if you come down and we're outside if you bring your drink we're outside there's nothing stopping you um, I don't think I've got anything else to say that I can think of. Anything else I've got to say, anyone that's going to remind me? No, everyone's shaking their head going, no, I've said it all. I've said it all. So we'll finish with Lizzie and our closing prayer. Lord, as we look into the week ahead, allow your love to flow. Allow us to understand your story, your stories as we sow your seeds around us. Help us to open your, our eyes wide for the ways of seeing you in our world. Lord, we thank you for your unconditional love. Our eagerness to spread your love runs deep. Amen. 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 And let's say the grace. May, May the, the grace, grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of God and, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with, with us all, all forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.